when you talk about the people who elected you to come to Raleigh, they elected you as a Democrat. Mm -hmm. So what would you say to the people in your district who thought they were sending Democrat Trisha Cotham to Raleigh that they now are being represented by Republican Trisha Cotham? You know, on certain issues like Medicaid expansion was a big one that I championed running for office because unlike a lot of people, I've been hearing that issue from the very, very start. And I'd said, I want to finish it. That is something I was able to do here working with bipartisan support. And that's important because many people don't want you to work across the aisle. On education issues, I'm very much about our schools, but our schools are not just a certain way. Our one size does not fit all for all children. And I made that very clear and I've earned the support of charter school groups in that process. Um, I am still who I am. And there are people who think you automatically make this switch because in their mind and their perception and what they've seen on TV, the Facebook ads that run through them that, you know, now she's going to be some monster, some this, some that. That's not true. I am still who I am. Are, will there be policies that I have learned more about and educated myself here? And you know, I have no problem with meeting with people where I may not understand their perspective. I think that's being a good leader. And you can evolve on some issues. And you know, I can also reflect and say, yeah, I was maybe wrong on that. And, you know, I'm not committing myself to one policy thing or another, but it is about governing. It is about leading. And I have strong support in my district, despite what Twitter might show. I've received an overwhelming amount of calls of support from people who elected me across all party aisles, because I will continue to be me, common sense, straightforward, do the research, do the hard work, and be visible. Am I 100% for everybody? No. Do I promise votes on certain things? No. That's always been a guiding principle. I would never discuss about legislation that doesn't exist. I would never agree to override a veto. That's not happened. And, you know, I'm very, I try to be a very thoughtful leader. I have tried to, you know, never leave anyone astray with anything. Um, people will say what they want, and that, and that's going to. The, the Democrats are running a tremendous amount of ads right now, and um, they should look between themselves. They should do self-reflection, and they need more candidates who are willing to work across the aisle. They all like to use that buzzword, but when it comes down to it, they don't do it.